This is the Open Syed Bacteria Food Hunt Simulation. When you press Setup, bacteria will appear on the screen. The bacteria have six different variations based on the number of flagella each bacterium has. This purple bacterium has a single flagellum, while this red bacterium has six. There are also bacteria with two, three, four, or five flagella in this population represented by other colors. In this model, there are two regions in which to conduct experiments about natural selection. Bacteria in the left region will remain isolated from bacteria in the right region. At the start of the model run, all the bacteria have an equal amount of energy stored in them. That is visually represented by how filled up with color they are. Here at the beginning, they are not very full. When I press go stop, the bacteria will begin to move. They move by wandering around with a slight turn to the right with each time step in the simulation. As they move, they use up their stored energy. You will see the amount of color decrease in each cell and when a bacterium's energy reaches zero, it will die. Let's watch the amount of energy for each bacterium decrease as the model runs. You may have also noticed that not all the bacteria died at the same time, and you may have noticed that some of the bacteria moved faster than others. Both of those are due to how many flagella each bacterium has. Bacteria with more flagella move faster than bacteria with fewer flagella, but bacteria that move faster also use their stored energy faster than the bacteria that move slower. I will reset the model by clicking on Setup. This time, I will turn on the Trace Paths option by checking this box. Now we can visualize how far the bacteria travel and also watch who travels the fastest and who runs out of energy the quickest. Notice that the red and the orange bacteria ran out of energy before the purple and the blue bacteria because they have more flagella and they move faster using up their stored energy quicker. But also notice that the paths that the purple and the blue bacteria traveled are not as long as the red and the orange paths. This slider, energy cost per flagellum, determines how much energy each flagellum uses up. Let's see what happens if I decrease this and run the model again. This time, all bacteria traveled further before dying, but like before, variations with more flagella traveled the furthest because they're traveling faster. They also die sooner. Variations with fewer flagella travel shorter distances because they're moving more slowly, and they also live longer. I can increase the energy used with that slider as well, applying the same change in energy cost per flagellum to every bacterium in both regions. You can also change the environment in both regions using the resource distribution sliders so the bacteria can get food to stay alive and reproduce. Bacteria get food by eating algae. If they fill up with enough stored food from eating algae, they will asexually reproduce, splitting their stored energy between the two offspring. The heritable traits in two new bacteria produced this way will be the same as in the original parent bacterium since they both inherit all the same genes as were in the parent cell. Algae will grow anywhere there is water. Right now, neither of these environments have water in them. Let's set up both regions to be 100% filled with water. Every spot now has water. The blue background and the small green squares represent the algae growing on those spots. Those squares will get larger as algae grow, and they will decrease in size as bacteria run over them, automatically eating the algae as they travel over them. 
algae will grow back where there is water, and algae will not grow in places where there is no water. I can adjust the amount of water and thus the algae in these environments separately by adjusting the resource distribution sliders and then compare the effects of less algae in one environment to more algae in the other. I can also adjust where the water is located in the region. Right now it is located anywhere in the environment randomly, but I can change it so that it's located around a central point in a horizontal strip or in a vertical strip, left side or right side. There are a lot of experiments you can do with where the water is located and how it is distributed in the environment, which in turn will affect where algae grow. Certain combinations of environmental conditions and energy costs per flagellum may generate different outcomes from natural selection than others. Watch your graphs to see how the distribution of trait variations in each bacteria population changes over time. Run the model with enough bacteria and run it enough times so that you're convinced that the difference in the starting positions of the bacteria is not a factor affecting the general outcome of the model. You may need to run the model many times in order to get natural selection outcomes that are noticeably different in one population versus another. Good luck.